Today we're going to learn how to tie down a boat securely to a Yakima boat mount. All Yakima boat products come with all the straps you need to secure the boat to the top of your vehicle. It includes two Yakima HD straps, as well as two bow stern tie downs to secure it to the front and rear of the vehicle. The process to secure your boat is generally the same. However, there is a slight difference between J cradles and stackers and saddle sets as you begin to tie down the boat. So we're gonna start with a J cradle to learn that process first and then move to a saddle set. The first step on a J cradle type mount or a stacker is to lace your HD strap through the mount to get it set before you put the boat on. So you're gonna put the strap through, even out the distance and kind of just let it hang over here to the side, sometimes using the side view mirror is a good option. Now take your second HD strap and lace it through the opening, just as the other one, getting the strap about equidistance in length, and then letting it hang off the rear of the vehicle. Now it's time to set your boat in place. At this point, you're gonna take both strap ends that you have hanging here and have them come over the boat so that they're both hanging down the front side. And you should be able to move them pretty easily, one relative to the other. Then, you're gonna take your loose end and you're gonna put that around the inside of the tower. So this is really important that you're strapping to the inside of the tower and not um, just onto the bar to the outside. Having it secured to the inside of the tower makes sure that it won't slip off the bar as you're driving down. It's a secure mount point to the vehicle. So put it in the inside of the tower, and then we're gonna lace it through our HD strap end. And you should be able to start to gather up all that loose end. That's a good trick that you should be able to pull down on the strap to tighten rather than being forced to pull up. So make sure you orient your strap so that you're pulling down to secure it to uh, the mount. It just makes the experience quite a bit easier. All right, so do the same thing on your second mount. You're gonna grab both straps over top of the kayak, bring it back towards your mount. And then when you're here, you should be able to very easily seesaw these straps back and forth. That means you're up on top of that J cradle or that stacker. Um, once here, you wanna kinda of pull most of the loose end of the strap down, uh, like we did before, and then take that loose end and again wrap inside of the tower, not outside of the tower, and underneath the bar to uh, complete the loop, and then go back through the connecting end of the strap. Again, you see I've got it set up here, so I am pulling down on the strap to tighten, which makes it quite a bit easier to get nice and snug against the mouth. All right, at this point, you wanna secure your excess strap that's hanging off here. There are a few ways to do this. You could use a rubber band. Some of our straps have a clip on them. Our soft strap even has a little neoprene cover. Uh, but if, if, if it's all you've got is just the strap itself and nothing else to secure it, uh, what I like to do is kinda of Seesaw the strap back and forth um, to create a little bunch. And then place that bunch up here on the strap end and tie it off. So that's the basic strapping of the boat to a J cradle or stacker with the HD straps. There is one more step, which is a bow stern tie down that's required. Um, but I'm gonna save that till a little later and show you how to do this section on a saddle set instead of a J, uh, J cradle or stacker. All right, so now that we've showed you how to mount and secure uh, a boat to the J cradle style mount, uh, we're gonna show you on a saddle set as well. Again, uh, we're gonna show balance stern uh, security at the end because it's the same for both, but tying down to a J cradle and tying down to a saddle set is a little bit different. So uh, one of the biggest differences is to start on the J cradle, you had to do something before you put the boat on, uh, put your straps up there on a saddle set, uh, you just go ahead and put the boat right up and then you deal with the strap. So we're gonna go ahead and throw our boat up on top. So here we go. All right, so our boat's in place, uh, nice and kind of centered on the vehicle 
And if you notice the saddles, uh, these particular saddle set has some rollers in it, which makes it really nice to get the boat up and off, uh, up and onto the vehicle. The first thing we're gonna do uh, is secure our HD straps. So again, these come with the saddle set. And uh, for, for the saddle sets, you do actually need to get up onto the vehicle a little bit higher to, to reach. So what I recommend doing is stepping on the tire or stepping in the door frame uh, to facilitate that. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this loose end of the strap and you're gonna be going over the kayak, under the crossbar, and then back over the kayak. And one thing to keep in mind is you want this strap to be on the inside of the mount towards the kayak, not to the outside. Um, so uh, we'll show you a close up of that as we do it. Um, but to start, we're gonna go up on the tire, over the kayak, and around the bar and back. So got this in place. If you look underneath right now, you'll see that uh, it is in fact to the front of the mount and we're gonna bring the buckle all the way up to the top here right on the kayak. Um, so now we're taking our loose end again and we're finishing the loop. We're going around the crossbar, uh, underneath the crossbar and around it. And you wanna be inside of this mount for sure, even better, you could be inside of the tower as well. That's gonna make it super secure. So we're gonna go inside the tower, try to keep our strap as straight as possible. And then up and through the buckle. Once we're through that buckle, we're gonna take all of our excess strap through. And if you notice, I have the buckle orientated, so when you pull down, it's tightening. So we're just gonna cinch that down quite a bit. Um, not all the way, because we do wanna put our front mount on first, but uh, get it nice and snug, and now we're ready to move to the front. Now we're onto the front mount, and we're gonna do the same process. I'm gonna take the loose end of the strap, over the kayak, down underneath the crossbar, and then back over the kayak. Um, we don't have a tire here on this one, so I'm gonna step in the door frame uh, to get a little bit of height. But here we go. Over, reach underneath, grab that, and then bring it back up over. Once you get up over, you can close your door again, and you're gonna bring that buckle kind of all the way up, and again, Orient so that way when you put the strap through and pull down, it's gonna tighten. Take that loop through behind the tower and the mount, and then up and through the buckle. Snug that down. Now that I got both of them in place, kind of take both, give a nice even snug. And one little trick here that I like, um, just easy with the excess. Instead of having to tie it up and cinch it off, you can actually, if no one's sitting back here and you don't hit them, uh, throw this into the car, throw that into the car, and then close the door. And that's gonna take care of your excess right there and you don't have to worry about tying it off. It's all in, inside the vehicle. All right, so we've secured the kayak down to the saddle set. We've also shown you how to do it to a J cradle. Uh, before that, the bow stern tie downs are the last step and the process is the same, regardless if you've used a J cradle or a saddle set. Um, and remember, Ballster and Tie-Downs come with every mount we sell for a reason. It's really the uh, way to finish the tie-down to your vehicle. It makes it fully secure, um, and it's an essential part of the tie-down process. So the, the Ballster and Tie-Down essentially has two parts. Uh, it's a short strap here and a long strap with a hook. Um, we're gonna start with the short strap. Uh, what you wanna do on your kayak is find a, uh, uh, a hook or a handle um, and loop this short strap around on itself and just let it kind of hang down off the kayak. And that's your, that's your really secure point to the kayak. Um, and then you've got your hook strap and that's what's gonna secure to the vehicle. So um, what I like to do first is take my loose end and actually get that started in the buckle. So through the back end, down in the front, go ahead and snug it up a little bit so it gets at least approximately to the right length for your vehicle. And then the hook itself um, needs to find a hard point on the vehicle to attach to. So in this case, we have a hitch receiver, which makes it very, very easy. But on some vehicles, you might have to find you know, a hard point on the frame. Uh, but what you don't want is you don't want um, a plastic point. So if it's a metal bumper or a frame or something that's fully secured to the vehicle, it's totally fine, but plastic bumper is not okay. Um, and sometimes you won't find a mount point at all, and we do have a solution for that, which will show you on the front of the vehicle. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to hook to a hard mount point. Um, again, hitch receivers are a great option. It's coming down here, hooking in place. 
and I'm gonna pull that taut. You see this plastic sheath here is kind of protecting the bumper as I pull it tight. So I'm gonna snug that all up, get it nice and snug, and then on my excess here, what I like to do, um, because it's a long strap, is actually to come down here, uh, double it up, and really just wrap it around a couple times, and then down through, kind of secure it down below here, keep it nice and long. If you still have some extra, you can bring it back up and do the same thing again. Uh, you know, just a very simple tie down. You're not getting a lot of wind back here on the back, uh, but that keeps it tied up uh, so it's not dragging on the ground or anything and you've got it all secure. Uh, so now we're gonna go up front. Okay, so we're up at the front of the vehicle. Last strap to add, it's our bow strap um, and works the same way as what we just did. We've got two pieces here. I'm gonna take the smaller end, uh, a smaller piece rather, uh, and loop it up through the handle of the kayak back onto itself. Uh, and that's gonna create a nice mount point for us for the, uh, for the strap itself. So that's gonna hang down here. Um, and on this particular vehicle, there's really not a great place underneath to put this hook. I already looked, it's all plastic. So I'm gonna show you how to create your own mount point. Um, and that's with uh, what's called a hood anchor. Um, so this works by popping the trunk, I'm um, sorry, the hood or the trunk, uh, if you don't have one in the back, and essentially putting it near the edge of the side that your kayak is on, closing it down. And then when you pull on that, like this, it's gonna be a nice secure mount point. It's not going anywhere. It's not gonna come out of the hood area. Um, so again, we've got that mount point settled now. We're going to take our strap end, again, through the back, and then down through the front. front. Now this is a real short strap, so the, the trick here uh, won't be as relevant, but one thing you wanna do on the front strap is uh, actually give it a little bit of a twist once it's snug. Um, so I'm just gonna do this a couple times. And what that does is it, it doesn't, if you don't twist it, sometimes it can buzz in the wind as, you, uh, as you're going down the road. So just a little trick to eliminate that. Put that on your hood anchor there, snug it all up. Again, not much of a twist because the strap is real short. Um, and on this one, uh, we're gonna treat our excess kind of like we did on the J cradles where we're just kind of folding it up here in a nice bunch. Again, you could use a rubber band or some sort of strap clip. Uh, in this case, you know, we're just looping it around um, and securing it. You know, at this point, you're ready to hit the water, go paddle um, and enjoy your kayak to its fullest.